I served from 1979 until 1988. I served from 1993 to 2009, 17 years military. I'm a four-year Navy veteran. I was in the United States Army. I've been homeless for about six months. I was homeless for almost two years. I was a homeless veteran. I uh, had lost my job, had no place to go. I've never been homeless before until this time. I have five children and a husband, so there's seven of us. You know, you only make a certain amount of money and it never seems to be enough to cover the rent and everything that you need. We've been involved in the uh, Welcome Home Kit program now since July of 2016. After today's shopping, we'll have assisted 75 vets. The Elks are essential to our program. We found that not only are they, they need stuff to move in to a, a new residence, things like pots and pans and, and ironing boards, many of them the most important thing that they need is food. Well, most of them when they come into the program here that uh, they don't have employment. Every vet is different. Our welcome home kits for our veterans moving into housing has been very essential because most of them have nothing. Well the way this shopping works is we pair up one elk with one vet and we work from a prepared list of common household goods. I was the first recipient of the welcome home kit which was so helpful. The Elks have supported me by helping me get a leg up on getting some things I need to make the house a home for my children. They gave me all the toiletries and supplies that I needed to assist me in my transition back out into normal life. We've gotten um, some household stuff to do the bathrooms and kitchen supplies, cleaning supplies. They've been there to help if I need, just need someone to talk to. When these folks come in uh, and they do their shopping, a lot of them get uh, all kinds of uh, household goods and some, some get food. Um, when they come up, they're, they're just so happy that somebody else cares. Now with the grants coming from uh, Grand National in Chicago, we could do more to help the homelessness vets with this program. What I want to tell people, especially vet, fellow veterans, if they start to find themselves in a situation, they should try and seek out those veteran services that will assist them in their times of need. The more people should know about it, this experience because the more that people know about it, the more people will volunteer and help out and then it can expand across the country. We've been very fortunate to have the Cocoa Beach Elks partner with us because without them, a lot of the things that we are able to provide to our veterans, we would not be able to do. I think what Cocoa Beach Elks have done is a great idea. It's helping veterans that have trouble helping themselves. The Elks has made it possible for me to reacquire these things, the simple necessities. We urge all Elks to get involved in this program. It's a wonderful, wonderful program. Let's time out. <laughs> sure. Let me start again. Yeah, yeah. You're going to make me cry, Jenna. Stop. I know how much it helps the veterans and how grateful we all are and have been. What we do for our vets, uh, being a vet myself, uh, having parents uh, who have served in, in both the Vietnam Korean War uh, and the World War II, uh, I think it's an outstanding thing that these folks are doing uh, to help get these vets back on their feet, give them a, a leg up in life. Uh, and I'm just, I couldn't be prouder to be a part of it. The help with the Elks that we received from the Elks totally makes their life turn around. And we, we always say it every day, how grateful they are. And one year from now, I'd love to see myself standing tall, not having to rely on anybody to help me.